Hello, my name is David Morris, um, and I'm very pleased to talk to you today. Um, I'm a surgical academic, um, and I've been involved in treating people with peritoneal cancer for um, almost 30 years. ACPMP have helped our research here at St George Hospital in Sydney in Australia uh, by giving us a grant which has allowed us to do things that we would otherwise simply not have been able to do. I'd like to tell you how our work started. I wanted to develop a treatment to dissolve pseudomyxoma, the jelly-like material that's produced by some appendix tumours. And we screened compounds that I thought might um, have an effect, and really we came up with nothing. And it was only when we looked at combinations that we found the interesting uh, discovery that has allowed this drug to uh, be produced. The combination of bromelain, which is a collection of proteolytic enzymes from the pineapple stem, and acetylcysteine, which is a widely used drug, actually break mucin and fluidize it so that we can extract it. We've been working on this, uh, developing this treatment for about the last eight years. At the moment, we're restricting this treatment to patients with inoperable pseudomyxoma, but I think that in time, there are many other types of uh, tumour that are likely to be affected by our drug. The reason that I'm speaking to you today is that it's Rare Disease Day and pseudomyxoma and in fact tumours of the appendix altogether are rare. And that really makes it quite difficult to develop treatments um, for a rare disease. One of the things that's really important about rare diseases is to find the right doctors to look after you. And that certainly applies to appendix tumours. In the United States, there are a number of good high volume centres that look after appendix tumours regularly. And uh, it really does make a big difference both to the efficacy and the safety of your treatment. And I'd encourage all pa patients with rare diseases to seek out experts in their field. I'd like again to say how grateful we are for the support that we've received, which has allowed us to do this work.